Hello everyone and welcome back to Hollow Knight. This is episode 7, last time we entered Crystal Peak. Uh, and it's been an interesting place, that's for sure. A very challenging one. We fell into the resting grounds as well and discovered a whole other element of things in relation to the dreamers. We have the dream nail. Uh, we are collecting essence here and there to, I guess, increase the power of the dream nail. Uh, we have the location of uh, the three dreamers on our map now as well. Uh, we're in a position where I'm not entirely sure where to go. We do have some uh, passages uh, that we can see we haven't uh, checked out yet. Uh, some of them do seem like dead ends, at least for now, because we don't have like the, uh, I guess, the means of traversing uh, some of the some of the gaps, like uh, when we fell into the um, when we fell into this place here, the resting grounds, that was because there was a bit too much of a gap that I don't think our dash allows us to cover. Uh, we've defeated the Crystal Guardian, I believe the name was, in the in the journal here. Crystal Guardian. Uh, in, a, <laughs> in, a ch in another, yet again, another challenging encounter. Uh, but we persevered. Uh, all that I can really say at this point is we're going to explore up this top side a little bit more. Um, we, we saw Quirrell, oh god, we saw Quirrell before, um, up the top. Oh, that laser goes through the, that makes sense. I was like, how did I just get hit? Laser, laser go through. That makes sense. Oh, how did I not get hit? Here's an item up here that I missed, apparently. How did I not get hit? Oh god, I'm messing it up. <laughs> uh, we got a shopkeeper's key, which has Sly, which is Sly's, uh, that's Sly's face. Small brass key made in the likeness of a shopkeeper. Alright, um, shall we, shall we go back to the crossroads, uh, and then to, to Dirtmouth then, we can go have a chat to Sly and be like, this key has your face on it, would you like to explain why? <laughs> we still haven't found if there is a stagway in Crystal Peak either, because it's it's probably if there is one off to the right hand side maybe, but I'm kind of surprised. I'm not sure if every zone is supposed to have one, or maybe some zones are without them, but you know, I have been looking. I have been looking around. Hmm. Uh, we had some interesting dialogue with uh, with Quirrell, and we're kind of suspicious. We're kind of suspicious of him at the moment. We always found him quite peculiar, but he became a bit more suspicious after this dialogue that we had with him. I don't know why is he wearing one of the masks of the Dreamers? You know and one of the first times that we ever encountered him. Uh, he was in front of the the Black Egg, which has their faces on it uh, as well. It was just all around a very peculiar sort of situation, I think. Now, we're going to go down... Oh, we're not going to do that. We're going to go down and check out Cornifer's spot again. <laughs> Now, we can't get up here yet. I am wondering if we'll get an upwards dash, because there is a charm that allows us to have a downward dash. Um, this is just death. So it looks like it's a broken sort of railroad situation there. I'm not sure, yeah, what the go is, but I don't think we'll be able to do anything about that yet either. Something that I, I'm just trying to like air out my thoughts as they come through because there's obviously a lot of uh, in environmental sort of traversal stuff to to take into consideration here. Um, trying to think about the fact that we saw Hornet go across a very large gap with her 
weapon slash ability something or other. So there might be an item that we can get that sort of mimics that ability that we can traverse long distances with uh, with an item. Right, so I, I, I guess we'll keep sort of, uh, you know, checking out areas and seeing what we can what we can find but I expect that I will probably end up getting lost um, on many occasions and that's just kind of like the way of things it's just kind of the way of things you know uh, at the very least I am really enjoying sort of documenting my learning experiences going through <laughs> um, going through Hollow Knight and, and sharing them with you of uh, trying to figure things out and either failing spectacularly or uh, miraculously proceeding. <laughs> right, we'll head back to the Forgotten Crossroads. Kind of like a situation at the moment where we're kind of just going with whatever leads that we have at the time so we're sort of like we have this information or this in mind and we'll just chase that and make progress you know um and if it leads us to something else that's cool we just keep following that paper trail you know uh we've got um i know that there is a path in green path somewhere um uh, that we can check out. Ooh. There's a path in Green Path that we can check out uh, because we gained the ability to, uh, you know, climb walls with the Mantis Claw. So that's another lead. That, oh, it'll lead us to a potential item of some kind or maybe some, some lore. We never know what we're going to discover whenever we unlock a new ability. It's kind of exciting. The the feeling of, of exploration and mystery in this game is really, really fun. Oh, I can finally get to you because I got Dash. Nice. Oh, that one's been a long time coming. I, I forgot all about you. I'm so sorry. the important part of remembering to go back through uh, previously explored areas as well that you haven't been to in a while because there might be a little caterpillar friend or just another area to check out Send. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> she's woken up and she's <laughs> she's on the fence uh, on the bench this time. Uh, in terms of uh, the houses, I, I guess we I guess we've opened them all now because there was this one, this one, and this one. Oh my god! Did do we keep get? Am I am I? I'm not sure, but is is there more and more items getting put in here each time? I don't remember this one being here on the bed last time. She got the Hollow Knight body pillow. God damn. I remember this little soft toy right above me. Every time I come here, I feel like more is getting added. The white savior in darkness. Troubled dreams beset the maiden. Her savior gone, consumed below. Now o her only companion, the cold wind... Moaning at her door, her heart fluttered with sudden fear. Then still, a sudden calm. Why? A presence. A figure close behind. She doesn't dare look, doesn't dare move. Fearful the slightest action would break the spell. She knew the presence at her bed. Knew the calm only they could bring. Her white saviour, now protector, standing tall beside. Powerful. Perfect. She wrote about me coming into the room while she was on the bed. 
So she's also updating the, the text to read in there as well. This is so wild. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a bit weird, but sure. Ooh. Ooh. And we can't talk to her at all either. No, no, no. To go with. Okay. Let's give Sly this key. Papa Sude. What do you have there? Why, that's the key to my storeroom. I thought I'd lost it for good. Hmm, did you find it in those old mines, perhaps? Very curious. I have no idea how it ended up in such a remote place. Very honest of you to return it to me. Yes, very kind. Now that I can open my old storeroom up, I can sell you some of the rare stock that's been gathering dust in there. These items may be a little time-worn, but they still retain their full market value. Very precious stuff. Take a look. Okay. We do have a decent amount of Geo on us right now. What do you got? An elegant key? An explorer found this fancy key floating in the waterways of the city far below us. I've not cleaned it. An elegant key. Okay. Gathering swarm was here before. Storm at shell. Heavy blow. You enjoy smacking about foes with that nail of yours, right? With this charm equipped, you'll be able to send them flying further with every hit. Okay. Heavy blow. Sprint master. You like it? It's a recent addition to my collection. Handsome thing, isn't it? Holding it lets you run around quickly and tirelessly as though you were young again. Or, um... So I'm told. A sprint master. Okay. Now, this simple key, simply a simple key, I feel like this is for that doorway on the far right hand side of this place, of, of Dirtmouth. Because I believe it is a simple lock. Um, that'll take all of our geo. I don't think we've found a place for an elegant key. And I think what I'll do in terms of mask shards and vessel fragments is I will buy them when maybe it's like the last piece that I need. Because then if I just buy it now without being able to like get a result, it's just kind of a waste of geo while you can buy this stuff. So we're going to actually buy the simple key big spender and I and we'll test it out over this side I would like sprint master though because I would like to have faster movement grave digger ah, another wielding a weapon I suppose you'll be leaving many a corpse in your wake if you won't spare thought for the dead at least consider all the extra work you force upon those in my profession Okay. Do as you will, little wanderer. Cut a path toward your goal. I shouldn't complain. It's your kind that keeps folks like me in business. Should I, uh... Hiya! Okay. So I should do that to get some essence? I feel like I didn't really get any essence from that, though. I got, like... Okay. He's like, do as you will. Give me your essence. Yes, a stone door with a simple lock. Use a simple key. It works! Does it stay in my inventory? It does not. So it's like a one-time use. I just don't know if there are other simple locks out there. Boop. What's in here? Great. This is instantly creepy. I see two eyes. Hello. Hi. You've been trapped in here or what? Welcome, small intruder. I've been sound asleep in here for some time. Some time? Ah, yes. Yes. Well, now you've gone and woken me up. It's no matter, I suppose. I might even be able to help you. I am Gigi, and if you have found your way into my chamber, you must need my help. Confessor Gigi. You see, sometimes we leave our regrets behind in the world, like black stains. If we don't deal with these regrets, hope starts to drain from us. Do you have regrets of your own, little one? Let me peer into you for a moment. Ah, you don't appear to have any lingering regrets. How lucky for you. You don't need the services of one such as I. Um, I'm not sure if this is like a... Here's the thing. I've already asked this question, hypothetically, rhetorically. 
uh, if we can damage NPCs. And I wonder if this is like a Dark Souls situation where there's a confessor where it allows you to like reset or fix your mistakes, maybe? Because it seems like this person is being like, have you done anything bad? And I'm like, no, not yet. Not yet. What? You seem to be free of regret. You don't need the services of one such as I. Farewell. Cool. So my curiosity cost me 950 geo. <laughs> Only to be told, you don't need me. Go away. What? Okay. Well, that was an expensive um, cutscene, wasn't it? I'm sure. Um, let's go to let's go to Green Path. Let's go back to Green Path because uh, there is a pathway that I can check in there. Um, we are. I can feel that I'm at a point where I'm probably going to be jumping around like a little bit as I figure out where I'm supposed to go. You know. <laughs> As I figure out sort of where to go, what pathways open up for me, if there will be a little of a little bit of let's check out here. Now let's go over here until I can, you know, see what actually um what actually clicks. But if I look here, um I believe the pathway right below us that we haven't explored yet is the one with those vines. So that's what we're going to take a look at. Oh no, I'm in Green Path. How terrible. I'm in the place with the best music. Oh no. I have to listen to it now. I stood right in it. I thought I was safe. I thought I was safe. Um, let's see. What were you? What did I just what did I just defeat? You. The gas that seeps from their growth seems invitingly sweet, but it will burn through shell and flesh if you get too close. Ah. No damn. Yeah, I think this is the... This is the thorny zone. Ah! <laughs> Actually, I think not. Because this is... Um, no, this is not... Okay. This is still something that we can't do. We definitely need some sort of uh, item or ability that allows us to cover a long distance. I'm excited for that. I like how easily the game communicates those things. There are moments where it looks like uh, you can sort of traverse through with your current sort of moveset and abilities and there are other things where it like you take one look at it and you're like, oh cool, like we will get something later and I like how clearly the game communicates that uh, even for like newcomers it's very clearly stated like for example this here I definitely can't cover this gap with a dash oh god I dashed right into it <laughs> I definitely can't cover that with a dash unless there is like a dash upgrade that allows us to cover a further distance, but we'll see. Oh, come on. <laughs> sure. <laughs> 
That was probably me being silly. I expect we'll be making our way back towards this bottom path in that case. The bottom left path. in that stone sanctuary as well actually it's been a while since we've been there I guess another thing I'm not sure of yet is how much certain areas or objects in these worlds may have uh, changed uh, since getting the dream nail as well. I guess another thing I haven't even thought to try yet, which you might try, is using the dream nail on enemies. Just hold it down for a charge. That might be how I can collect more essence as well. Now, Stone Sanctuary. Is this maybe the path in Green Path that I was talking about that I needed the lantern to progress through? And that's why maybe I can't remember what's in here because we actually haven't explored it yet. Because none of this seems familiar, actually, on second thought. This might have just filled out on the map because we entered this room. But this might be that, that path that I've been thinking about that I needed the lantern to go into. Yeah, I have not been here. There you go. And it's a mask piece. Wonderful. I think that's probably a misleading thing about this map here that I'll need to remember or commit to memory is this whole time when I've been going back through Green Path, I've been like, there was a path I needed the lantern for, but I can't remember where it was. And obviously when you rest at a bench, any rooms you've been in, it fills out. And then you can forget about it. So this was the one that I should have left a marker on. But if you remember, I didn't buy the markers at that point. So we were in... I'll be doing that going forward, like how we marked NPCs when I saw, um, what's her name, Britta or something? I can't remember, the, the our number one fan, our Oblivion adoring fan, um, not sure. Um, I will be marking things like this in future. Well, I need to... I need to check it out. Things to come back to. Okay, so we got a mask piece. Doesn't look like... I mean... Here's the, here's the funny part. I'm about to say it doesn't look like there's anything else here, but... This little pathway is, is bigger than it, than it looks on the map. Oh! For example. Hello. No eyes. That's creepy. My child, can you still see? Please, don't hurt me. Can't sleep with your eyes open, little one. Can't dream if you're still breathing, little one. Precious children, you speak such loathsome things as you sleep. Your claws scratch and scrape. Precious children, a monster has come for us in the dark. Will you sing for me? Challenge the warrior dream. Okay, cool. This is another zero situation. This is what I thought that... Um, that gravedigger dude was going to be, but then it didn't say if it was a challenge, so we just dream nailed him out of existence. Yes. Oh. Ah. Okay, 
Okay, this is creepy. sung to sleep. Oh god, there's just so many of them. I'm such an idiot. Imagine falling on the spikes twice, couldn't be me. Ugh. How do I win? Just keep hitting until I win. <gasps> okay. Oh, doesn't look like the tendrils do damage. Keep hitting to. <laughs> oh my god. Ah! Maybe I might use Vengeful Spirit. Ooh. I don't know if I can attack these things. I don't think I can. Misses Vengeful Spirit. <gasps> Ow, God! Okay, this is... Oh, my... Oh my god, I hate when I get hit unnecessarily by being an idiot. Oh god, I'm gonna I'm gonna die. I'm gonna lose. I've fuck. I lost I lost it. I lost my composure. Oh god, this is where I last rested. Don't look at me, Elder Bug. Don't look at me, for I have shamed myself. God damn it! Sir, please. Oh god. Don't run me over. Oh, we can actually go down here. Dima. This place. We are near the surface, I believe. There is a town here. We should take the opportunity to rest. This place was once full of travelers coming and going. It seems much quieter now. Oh, I can talk to you. Voila. Eager to travel the stagways? Just hop upon that platform, give me the signal, and we'll soon be on our way. Voila. Oh, you're already here. <laughs> I'm going to assume that he has um, different dialogue for each stagway then, because he mentions, like, he talks about this location specifically. All right, back to the stone sanctuary we go. Um, and we'll, we'll, we'll get it this time. We'll, we'll get it this time. Something i got to remember to do is uh, rest at a bench, because it's literally, like... The, the Dark Souls bonfire. I, I, can't, I tend to forget that it's like, that's the progress saver <laughs> of like, you need to, you need a rest there. So if you die, you don't have to go back through the whole area that you were just in. Uh, on our way here, we unlocked the new description for the Moss Charger. It's small, but it finds a lot of courage and strength once it covers itself in foliage, and I can understand the desire to camouflage oneself. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, where was my... So the stone sanctuary is so much bigger uh, than you think, I guess, on the on the inside. So I now remember 
the the stone sanctuary experience. We came down here and we found the stone sanctuary and we went in and that's when we realized that it was too dark. So I remember now. Now, let's take on this a dream. Will you sing for me? Challenge the warrior dream. Okay, let's try this again. Oh my god, let's not take damage immediately, hey? God, it's the added difficulty element of like platforming and then also dodging wisps, I suppose they I will call them. I still had my. Now I need. Now I do. Oh, that's just silly. Okay. Yeah. Getting vengeful spirit. Oh, oh no! To get hit twice on the way down. So dark in here. The higher up we go, the harder it feels to attack this thing. Oh god. Yeah, the higher up we go, the more challenging it feels because there's just so many. the journey up make the journey up and then it moves and then you land on one of them ah <laughs> okay okay oh this guy is annoying all right at least i'm closer this time because i rested at this bench but goddamn. okay the mixture of platforming with dodging spirits and having to hit it and managing that all at once is uh, an interesting challenge. Just need to not get hit. Guys, that's the easy way to win this game is just don't get hit. Simple. Where my guy at? Come back here. All right. Just don't get hit. Use Vengeful Spirit to do more damage. Let's go. Oh, I want to see if the Wind Nail works as well. Wind Nail? Dream Nail works as well. The interesting part of that is Needing to stand in a spot where you can, I guess, charge it up. Oh, it's so terrifying to be up so high. It's like, should I just wait for it to only be down at the bottom here? Then that just feels like cheesing. Imagine wasting a vengeful spirit and then also give it getting hit. Just the double whammy of wasting your soul. Yeah, but I don't think we can hit these things. I would love to be able to hit them to get rid of them. Where are you? 
you're so high up. Oh god. Ah! I'm being harassed. Rock in a hard place. It's so easy to get pinched between them. from me. Leave me alone. Ah! I can't even use Ventral Spirit because I need all the heals I can get at this point because I just keep getting smacked by him. Oh! Free me from this torment. down the bottom come come hang out with the with, down the bottom it's cool down here I'm just slowly taking pot shots at this point just to get some soul back as much as I want to use vengeful spirit I need health oh what am I blind This is why I don't like going up there. There's just like all of them hanging out. Like it's the dream mosh pit. I don't need that. Yeah, easy. Didn't even struggle. Did not even struggle, dude. Let's go. Did not even struggle. No eyes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Lingering dream of a fallen warrior disappeared during the plague. They're coming. What's inside of you? Strip it out. No eyes. Needs more eyes. You're not going to succeed in Yarnum if you have no eyes. One by one, their eyes closed at last. I felt it. A warm stillness falling over us. I'm sorry I was frightened of you. You were always protecting us, even when we couldn't see you. Take us there, please. A place where light cannot haunt us. A place without dreams, please. Easy. First try. Yo, 200. All right, we need to go face carved from stone. We need to go to the seer again. Because I've got more essence. Imagine struggling at that. Couldn't be me. That was easy. All right, I think that was it. I guess the, that thing... Is only unlocked when you uh, get the dream now. Um, so it's probably a good thing that we got the dream now uh, around the time that we did without the lantern because we probably would have just come in here and been like, huh, cool, and then left and maybe not thought to come back. So that was lucky. So that is the stone sanctuary. Fuck. <laughs> Gave us a very easy fight. No stress whatsoever. Certainly not at all taking weird hits now. Let's go. 
back to that bench and have a rest. And then we can find our way to the stagway and go to the seer. All right. Now, stagway is all the way over there. It might be easier to go into the Forgotten Crossroads. I'm just trying to think about that pathway that we haven't been to yet. I think it's that bottom left one with the thorn wall. And now that we've got the mantis claw, we should be able to do that. So I'm going to check out that before we leave. Because I'm pretty sure I'm not crazy. But who knows? I might just be. Oh, actually. my time being Dark Souls crazy like I used to be but, and hitting everything but it feels like the game almost wants you to does it want you to be Dark Souls crazy and try and fill in any of the potential gaps you see ow maybe Oh, no, this is a different thing. This is a different thing that we can climb on now, actually, because of the of the wall uh, climbing. So this is a, another new area that we can access, but not the one that I'm thinking of. Oh, nice. Thanks, game. Sure. <laughs> Sometimes the game takes it easy on you, which is really interesting. Like, if you are in a spot and you've made it there, like just made it there, the game's like, ah, okay, we'll put you up there, which is, I find is an interesting case of forgiveness. There's our first vessel fragment, which is very nice. That's also very nice. Um, oh no. God damn it. I can't get back up. It's a, it's a nice way to get back down, but it's not so we can buy a vessel fragment but I don't think it's worth buying until we at least find another one why did I do that again <laughs> all right let's inspect this though once our lands a pale being lays claim to the caverns ahead. It may appear benevolent, but it does not share our dream. Be wary to wander that place. Okay. Be wary to wander that place. It does not share our dream. I knew that that was there. God damn it. Um. <laughs> okay. So, hmm. We're not able to proceed any further, but there'll be, I guess, another section... Another section from the other side for us to loop around. I think I'm just laughing because it's like that's another new area that I wasn't even thinking of. Where is the area with those thorn walls? This is why I need to be making markings on my map. 
and I'm only paying for my mistakes of the of the times where I didn't even own markers at the time. You know, I'm like, God damn it, this would have been great to have markers. <laughs> Alright, I'm going back to the stagway. And that's how we can uh that's how we can get out of here. This place is much changed since I last saw it. The greenery grows so wild, the stations like to be consumed by it. Uh, to the resting grounds. The resting grounds. Passengers would come here to conduct rituals for those who had passed on. Not anymore though. Perhaps the dead conduct their own rituals now. Still no map, still no corner fire. Need to remember where that last plant that I saw was as well. I feel like it's probably in um, the fungal wastes. Maybe. Uh -huh. Hello, I have enough essence. Gala. You've returned. Let me have a look at the dream nail. Your dream nail holds over 200 essence. You're proving your talent in its collection. Have you seen that great door just outside? My tribe closed it long ago and forbade its opening. Ah, but as far as I can tell, I'm the only member of my tribe still breathing. That means I needn't feel bad about breaking a taboo. As proof of my belief in you, I'll open the door. The door to darkness has opened. The door is open and you can enter the glade beyond it. Listen closely in there and you may hear the utterings of bugs long gone. Get to so you've collected 300 essence. Oh, nice. Yes, I can see the dreams of this old kingdom starting to cling to you. Very encouraging. You've certainly made my dreary work here more exciting. Being the caretaker of this place hasn't been very stimulating. I shouldn't complain though. Tending these graves and guiding the wielder, all pent penitence for old crimes. Certain things have to be kept in balance. Take this trinket for your effort, efforts and return with 500 essence. Keep up your tireless work. A pale ore. Uh -huh. Rare pale metal that emanates an icy chill, prized by those who craft weapons. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, that was this right here, wasn't it? A glade. Spirits glade. Um, can I, is this like a hot spring scenario? It looks a little deep. Looks like I'm gonna drown. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Oh, <gasps> you can swim in this game. You can swim. Okay. Well, it's, yeah, cause it's not the poison water. Nice. Hollow Knight has swimming confirmed. Revec. The bugs within this glade are under my watch. Treat them with respect and you may remain, but raise your nail and you'll contend with me. Well, look. For now, I will respect your wishes, but I am but a simple Hollow Knight and my nail must pierce the flesh of dead husks. I assure you, Wanderer, my nail is sharp and I'll not hold back. I am, like, I don't doubt that. Look at that. Look at that weapon. God damn. What if I just, like, hi-ya? What if I just hi -ya you with the drink? Oh, hello. Oh, there's multiple in here. Buy my cookies. They're ever so tasty. Millibug. Okay. One, buy my cookies. Once I've sold them, I can all I can go home. I, I, I'm not allowed to. It won't let me. All right. Whoa, you look dangerous. 
Beware your own mind, little one. Twisted minds breed dark deeds, and mine was more twisted than most. Oh, he's an edgelord. All right, Caspian. I thought it would be my end, but instead I found this glade and with it a sort of peace. Do you think dark thoughts, little one? When hidden behind a visage as impassive as your own, I find it hard to tell. Am I supposed to be like fighting all of them or just having a chat? Dr. Chagax, I used to help others. They were brought to me sick and dying. What difference did it make? Any victory against death will always be temporary. What a gloomy thought. Oh God, hello, big boy. Don't fear, little creature, Atra. Though a violent rage once possessed me, the peaceful air in this place seems to keep it at bay. My appearance should not cause you worry. Here I am truly at peace. Okay. I love all these designs. They all look so cool and unique. Garo. Are you a warrior, little one? A true warrior is one who can stand strong in the midst of a storm. Stand strong, little warrior. So cool. I love the designs. I was once obsessed with power, though my time within this glade has shed me of such desire. Uh, I want to assume that either the C or the K is silent. So it's either kin or sin. What folly it was to ever crave such a vicious thing. Seeking power is a hollow goal. Best to search for other things. Whoa. Looks like cornifer, but covered in a bunch of bug babies. It's got cornifer's glasses. And snoot. Grohawk. We're always left with reminders of the errors we've made. Let your mistakes not burden you, but serve as guideposts on where not to travel. These husks around my neck, they're my precious friends, always there to keep me company and much better for conversation. Oh, much better for conversation than the rest of the odd lot around here. Good, I'm glad it didn't change to something else. So I accidentally pressed the skip button. I need a map. God damn, alright, Gilgamesh. Look at that. Look at all the weapons you've got. Hundred Nail Warrior. Do you like my nails, little wanderer? I mean, carry only three. Far less than legends may suggest. Still, each is sharper than the last, and I require only one to cut you down. Aren't my nails the most wonderful things? Their gleaming blades so sharp and deadly. <laughs> Karina. Are you admiring my fabulous markings? I'm of a distinguished species, you see, though I've not seen another like me for the longest time. I've also got no eyes. You don't seem to bear the markings of rank, though you bear no markings of a lower form. What are you? Do tell me. Are you a higher being or just another lowly grub? There are so many in here right now. Herpetos new. Are you enjoying your time in our glade? I'd offer advice. Though to have made it here, you're obviously quite adept at navigating our world and its perils. You're very impressive for such a small thing. I'm something of a warrior myself, though I'd, even I'd hesitate to raise my nail against you. Okay, I'm not sure about that. Ooh, you're like decaying away slightly. Yeah, Molten, don't fear my rotting form, though my body sheds and changes my core, remains the same. Oh, hello? Good name. Magnus Strong, all of life's problems can be solved with crushing force, such a simple mantra and one I've always lived by. If you weren't so scrawny, I'd suggest you'd follow my example. Remember, tiny bug, crush your fears, crush your problems, crush your foes.
Oh, the eye patch. <laughs> Waldy, don't judge me by appearance. Though my stature is small, I bear a dark soul and a tendency to go berserk in battle. <laughs> He wields it's it's guts, guys. It's guts. He wields the nail like the dragon slayer, and he's missing one eye. He gonna go berserker. <laughs> Waldy. You wouldn't have the guts to face me anyway. Guys, get it? He's a Dark Soul Berserky reference. He gonna go berserk mode. Interesting. Oh. You're holding your head in your in your hands, mandibles, uh, leggies, whatever they're called on insects. Wayner, hark, fellow adventurer, are you heading out into the world? I'd join you, but it's been so long, I fear I'd lose my head. Ha ha. <laughs> I'm envious of you, facing this world without fear. I could stand to learn from your approach. Okay, I really didn't think there would be just so many goddamn bugs in here. Wyatt, watch out! I have an acidic touch and I wouldn't want you getting burned. It's a protection system of my kind. Though something of a nuisance when it comes to meeting others. <laughs> Everything I touch turns to skittles. God damn it. Don't get too close, I have not wished to cause any harm. Hex. I'll see you soon, she said, though that was long ago. I wonder where she went. Go bother someone else. You're not the one I'm waiting for. Wow. Thistle wind. Ah, a wanderer. I've been many places and done a great many things, but I suspect you will outdo me by far. I've long ceased traveling the caverns of Hallow Nest, and I suspect they're now far more dangerous than in my journeys. Though with your capable air, I'm sure you'll do fine. Good luck. It's a vast world out there. You'll find it strange to see a moth wielding a weapon. We are a passive species, though I'm not the only one amongst us to take up arms. Another braved the edges of this world, hoping to uncover a truth long forgotten. I wonder what became of him. You find it strange to see a moth wielding a weapon, huh? Hey? So many big boys. Boss, <laughs> I came from far away to reach this place. Though my shell may seem foreign beneath it, I am a bug the same as you. You too are a warrior. I see your nail, but your shell seems underdeveloped. In your current state, to travel a land as dangerous as this seems unwise. to do now ah! oh it's just okay all the way to the start um is this supposed to be some sort of like challenge gauntlet of like you can fight all these people like absolutely right but this person is like do not kill anyone here i'll attack you it feels like they're all sort of like dream nail scenarios and I get essence from them all but Sia gave me like no such info and was just like hey this place was sealed but fuck it I'll open it not sure what to do there I guess once we make our choice that's kind of it or maybe that could be one of the the sort of sin things with that character that we met if we like attack them and maybe it's not the right thing to do we can just be like i was just playing around i'll go commit confess my sins now okay no information behind that door then and i still don't have a map for this area either all right well i'm gonna take a bathroom break and then maybe we will poke the bear and see what happens while I while I sit down and get ready, like after a break, and I just sit here and I'm just like listen to the to the music. It's like every single location just has such beautiful composition. Like this is such a sad and somber area. I love the piano. It's it's so nice. Now in Spirits Glade, <laughs> here's my thought process. Do we fight them? 
can we pick who to fight? For example, Cookie Millibug over here. Should we just fight Millibug? I'm half expecting Millibug to be like a sleeper, like super challenging boss. <laughs> buy my cookies, they're ever so tasty. It won't let me buy them. Like there's no way that this room is literally just a a whole way of talking to ghosts. So hey -ya! Oh, yep. Okay. Whoa. Okay. How do I fight back against this? Whoa. Did it... Whoa. Okay. Now I'm just being harassed forever. Oh. Okay. Okay. Maybe what I should do is charge up. Okay. I should charge up the... the... Okay. Oh, it does two damage to me each time. Okay. Oh no, I'm here. Maybe I should have attacked this person first. <laughs> but then I reckon it still would have had the same outcome. So if I attack one, I only get like one... I only get like one essence from them because I had 322. It just goes up to 323, so it's like it's not even worth killing them. This had this was the same thing with the with the grave digger. Like I thought that it only went up by a small amount, and it did. And then if we return, it it, it is gone. Millibug is gone. And then if I come back. If I come back, it's peaceful again. Uh, where's my... Why is it all the way up here? <laughs> Excuse me, what are you doing up here? Okay, so if you kill any of them, uh, the beginning one just comes for you. I thought that these would all be like fights, because they all look like... They all look like fights to me. Especially when they got weapons, I'm like, god damn. Oh, you dodge it and attack me. I can't, and you can't even do damage. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave. I'm gone. <laughs> okay, what if I come back? You still angry? I think it resets, but it doesn't reset this. I'm a little bit confused because if it's literally just a room where it's just you get to talk to some ghosts, I I don't know. And you only get one essence. It's like almost not worth it because those dream fights give you like so much more. I'm not sure. Seems like a little bit of baloney. I really like talking to them and learning about stuff, but it feels like there should be more there. And there probably is, and I guess we will just have to come back to that one later. Maybe if you manage to kill them all and survive, something will happen. Ah, this gladdens me. The Queen's Station is opened once more. This place was a bustling hub of travel, well placed for travellers visiting the outer edges of the land. You're quite the explorer to find this place. Alright, well... I'm going to keep checking out the Mantis Village then, I reckon. Oh, it's marked on the map, the dream flower thing, so it's above the Mantis Village. That is where we will go then. Oh, this is one of the thorn things that I was thinking about. Yes! Oh god. Cool. I can... <laughs> oh, I'm almost dead. Hold on a sec. <laughs> Actually, I should, um... <laughs> Why didn't I rest at the bench in Queen Station? Why am I so stupid? <laughs> Arrives at Queen Station, I'm just like... Hell yeah, let's just <laughs> walk around with 
two health. Honestly, sometimes I just forget to check the top corner, which is the worst because it like it's my health. It's how I survive in the world. Sometimes I just get so enamored with everything else and I'm just looking at the beautiful world that I'm just like, oh yeah, I have health up there. I just kind of forget. God damn it. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> First try. Okay. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. Easy peasy. All right, mass fragment. Let's go. Two. All right. Nice. So when we find one more mask fragment in the wild and another soul vessel, we'll buy the remaining pieces from slime. Good stuff. Okay. Back to Mantis Village. So from what I can see <clears throat> in Mantis Village, uh, when we went there, there is a a pathway in the floor. Like we can see it. Um, it looks like it can be destroyed, but I'm not sure. So we'll have a look around. Regardless, there looks like there's some other pathways around here in the fungal wastes we can check out as well. Um, we need to just do another, do another, you know, do another run. I expect that I'll probably have to do um, many runs through areas to um, see everything that it's got to offer and maybe try and look at things with a different sort of view to find things but again I'll remind I'll, I'll remind people that like this is sort of my first time in not only this game but my first time in the genre oh I thought it was dead sorry I'm getting distracted now Jesus Christ this is what happens when I get distracted don't talk and play Hollow Knight it's like texting and driving um yeah, I like you have to I have to remind you that it's also my first time with the with the genre. So I'm I'm there are people that are very familiar with with the genre with Hollow Knight because there are games like Metroid and Castlevania which have been running for uh for many, many years and have always been sort of games that I've looked at and been like, yeah, maybe I'll play that one day. Um and then with how much Hollow Knight's been recommended, that's kind of been my big push to be like, okay, I will try these out. And it does make me want to play more. It 100% makes me want to play more games um, in the in the genre, for sure. Um, but yeah, like there are things like gameplay things and um, ideas, I guess, in, in each sort of one of these games where people would be like oh this game is a metroidvania so it has these type of things in it and i'm not aware of those you know um like i'm seeing that there are hidden pathways and surfaces in areas that like fill up like all of these like sort of platforms and stuff are just like black at the moment but they're sometimes they have hidden things in them which is really cool and uh, i guess people are probably way more aware of that than i was going into it you know because that's just sort of a, a thing I'd like you to keep in mind <laughs> is I'm like a beginner's beginner to to the whole Metroidvania experience. And it's it's fun, but also I realize that it can be probably quite frustrating uh, to watch sometimes because you're like, damn, how has he not got it or understood this that I have been aware of for years, you know? So it's, it's just part of the experience, you know? I'm trying my best. I mean, at the very least, I want to reassure... I want to reassure people that I'm having, a, a, like, a, so much fun. Like, a significant amount of fun. It's very, very enjoyable. I'm loving it a lot. 
just is like a learning experience in the, in the same way. But then, just wait until I'm playing Castlevania 22 because there's so many games in that franchise, and I'm like bopping around, still making the same mistakes that I was making in, in Hollow Knight because I never learn. Ah, there's another one of these. All right, cool. It's cool to know that, like, there's been a bunch of these that we've seen before and that we've, like, checked out, and then it now makes sense because we have the dream now that all of these are now going to be little spirits to fight. Wait, child. The Elder Who. Why have you come here? Have you come to tame this savage, ruined land? Many have come to purify this place, but all who dwell here are eventually consumed. Yes, even the wild bugs lurking below us. They were once proud like you, but now they are only monsters. Beware dreams of glory, child. Turn back and do not return. Challenge the warrior dream. Let's go. What you got for me? Whoa! Okay, Jesus. You're gonna crush me with dream rings. Okay. Teleported. Damn it. Damn it once again. Stop dodging my vengeful spirit. Oh. God damn. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Stop. No. All right. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Ah, he's doing it again. Don't spam that move. This punk. <laughs> Move spamming. my heel. Surely he's close. Surely he's close. Fuck! I'm close at this point. Ah! I hit him. Oh my god. I kept missing with vengeful spirit and that was the most annoying part. God damn it. Elder who, goddamn old man. I will have my revenge. Oh, that's not the way to go. I will have my revenge against this against this man. Oh, I'm not happy about that. Not happy about that at all. Ooh. 
he has no idea what's coming for him. That's all I can say about that. He's in for a rude awakening. So many unnecessary hits there, though. Alright. Let's go. Let's do that again. I get just so many misses. It's so sad to miss. Don't do something like that to me. Make me miss my vengeful spirit and lose my healing opportunities. How dare you. Fuck. Damn it. A old fart can't even can't even face me weapon to weapon you know it has to rely on stinky poop magic has to rely on stinky poop magic in order to achieve victory can't even just face me with his hands I will go hand to hand with that old man he's too scared he needs to use his uh, spammy little magic rings in order to to win because he has no skill old man we're going again and you will die you will die old man sure about that you sure about that bud God, he loves to spam this one, doesn't he? <laughs> Silly. Contact damage. Keep dodging right into them.
Oh, for some reason I thought he was doing the, the other move. When he disappeared, I thought he was going to do this one. Gotcha. You bastard. Elder who, lingering dream of a fallen warrior. Travel the world tending to those affected by the plague. Never forget what once was lost, yet do not let it tie you down. Got him. My mind, it clears. Have we been sleeping, child? Ah, I remember. Those proud lords, were they truly monsters? I remember their eyes now, bright and clear. Why then did I fear them so? If there was madness in that village, it was I who brought it. They were right to cast me out. When I attacked, they were right to. They were right to kill. To kill me? Ah. Oh. Give me your essence. Bam. That was only 100 that time, so not. We still need 500. We remember the Elder. Yeah, I remember this when we read that. Dawn. Um, it's very interesting getting their out of context, like little lore stuff in relation to, you know, the past that is taking place. And we're kind of slowly piecing some things together. We're very early on, so I definitely don't have a full understanding of uh, the events, which is very understandable. Um, but it is, it is very interesting, like, slowly getting some information here, um, from different characters about their experiences and the, the past and, ah, God, and some sort of, um, you know, uprising that took place seemingly against, I think the, it looks like there was, a uh, people were not loyal to a certain king or some such. It seems. And they paid the price for it. This looks like some something that can be interacted with, don't you think? And that's a unique bug that we haven't seen before lying on the ground there with like the two horns right there. That little bug corpse. This looks like something of importance, but there is nothing... Nothing here. I mean, we see it on the map. Unless I interacted with this already and forgot. Did I? Did we already interact with that and I forgot? And this is where um, Hornet was. And Hornet went and did like a little whoop all the way to Halloween's heart. I like the what we can see on the on the fences here. It looks like there's a bug with wings and some sort of like almost crown there. It looks very cool. And we're seeing that imagery around here. So like we're seeing signs that are like the the all of the little like people it looks like and then behind them is like a figure that looks like they're wearing a crown. And that is very prominent on this sign here. They got the little Among Us characters with uh, a crown. Oh look, and it's another one of these similar bug corpses that we haven't seen yet. So it's gonna be good to get some answers when we finally make it down there. But for now, we're going to the Mantis Village so we can get this um, flower, and then we're gonna see if we can figure out how to potentially get underneath uh, the Mantis Village as well. We tried doing like a dash. We tried attacking the floor. None of those things seem to work. But we will continue and endeavor to figure out this mess. Oh, I can get up here now because I've got... Hang on. <gasps> I can get up here because I've got Mantis Claw. Unless we've already been up here before. I don't know. Have I been up here? I don't think we've been here. This looks new. Oh no, we've been here because we've already had been here with Mantis Claw and I just can't. 
figure out how to get up there. We definitely, we definitely got to be getting some sort of boost into the, into the air. That was supposed to be an attack, but I apparently messed up the timing. Yes. Uh, there must be some sort of boost that takes place. Because there's a few areas I'm seeing at the moment that are just very much out of reach. Ow. Didn't even see it through the, uh, the red glow. For some passive mushroom balloons, they, they pack a punch. Okay. Ow. Oh, damn. <sighs> you know, sometimes, guys, I just take hits for fun. Because I'm like, ha, I meant to do that. Hi. Proud warriors, honor bound. Yeah, now this is the segment that I can't figure out. Yep. Okay. I give up. I'll come back here later when I get some health. <laughs> I think I've already done that before, so... I didn't even see it there. Um, God damn it. Um, I think I've already gone that way before anyway, if I remember correctly. So I just uh, wasted all that health for no reason. didn't get any better at uh <laughs> timing their blows did i okay i'm gonna leave because i'm gonna go to the save bench and then we're going to try and figure this out <laughs> what if we just fucking did that oh god man Oh god, man. What am I doing? We're not locked in today, are we? It's weird. Just being silly now. Okay. Right here. <laughs> Rest at the bench, and we stop being silly. Now, I think... Here was... Britta? Britta? So we've already been in here to rescue... Uh, we've already been in here to rescue them. Oh, actually. Oh. I was like, this could be one of those dreamy things. No. Okay. You know what I will say is weird about the uh, contact damage in this is it doesn't apply to any enemy. These mushrooms, the small ones, you can you can run past them, and they never do damage. You can run past them. So contact damage is uh, only for some enemies. This feels like more than nothing. This feels like more than just because it's like this waterway thing. And then on the on the map, it has like a little indent to it. Oh, on the way here, I got the fungling description. So just a child it drifts about with closed eyes and an open mind. When I was young, my brothers and sisters and I would hunt each other in the nest. Now I hunt a loo. Now... 
Yeah, there's a little mark, there's a little wall indent thing. And it looks like it's this. Yeah, I don't know. Like it clearly reacts. Maybe I need like something else. They're, like Sly had the, the heavy nail thing. Maybe you just need to be able to do more damage to some things. There's a particular wall, uh, not a wall, a doorway thingy with some chains on it as well that looks like it could break if you attacked it with uh, some force. I take a lot of contact damage on enemies like that when I am actually doing like sort of the attack, but obviously I've just messed up the timing. And I'm attacking them as I'm hitting them, which is kind of annoying. But yeah, there's definitely a pathway here. Not sure how to get it open. There's something maybe above that I could like slam down. Oops. Right above that floor is not much. It's the spiky thing. Ouch. Oh God. There's a pathway up here. I just don't know how to get to that. And that will flick a switch that will just open that and allow me to get to that thing. Oh, that's from that side. So I actually haven't gone here yet. Interesting. No, I get there from here, I think. Just the thing that I keep dying at. was much easier than I thought. I don't know why I thought that I'd done this section before. I think that I misunderstood and I thought it was something else that I'd gotten in a similar way. There you go. Alright. That was... Why did that seem bigger than normal? Why did that take so much time? It, yeah, okay. Fuck, it did open the floor. All right, cool. I was like, why did that one seem? All right, we've had the answer to open up the floor the whole time. We don't have to destroy it. We got to flick that switch. The first time we saw this, I was like, oh, every time we've seen a switch with a wall next to it, we've gone, ah, oh, cool. That's just the way out of there. Um, and I've clearly just brain farted and forgotten about it. All right, I'm going down here now. I've had access to this the whole time. <laughs> Don't mind me, just infuriating everybody that watches my episodes by doing things like this. That's me, making it an infuriating watch by accident. God, I don't know where I'm going. Ah. So there is there's more to the Mantis village underneath here that I have had access to this whole time. And so many more switches as well. Well, now that I'm going into this with the mentality that uh 
opening a certain amount of switches, I assume, because there were multiple, if memory serves. Now I'm thinking we need to open up all of these switches to make something else happen. Am I onto something there? Or am I now making my mistake of overthinking things because of previous things? Doing blind playthroughs is hard, guys. Because, like, you have to look, you have to accept the, the fact that you are going to look like a goddamn fool. Like, almost all of the, all of the time. We hit each other at the same time there, and I won't accept. I won't accept otherwise. God damn it. Okay. You're an asshole. You're blocking my way to a save bench. That's a save bench symbol. I... Okay. You suck. So I'm really shot now. How dare you? I hope you get infected with quadriceps mushrooms and die. God damn. Oh, hang on. That also opened up this side. Flawless. God, if, if only my uh, my save bench opportunity wasn't wasn't blocked by a by a silly little mantis guy, by a silly silly little funny mantis boy. Why the fuck is this so difficult? What the fuck? Okay. First try. Easy. God damn, I only got one hit now. Yeah. <laughs> This is uh, the, what the stress of having one hit left will do to you. Okay, well we've opened many a path now. That one's still closed. Looks like we've got to go this way underneath Mantis, but I've got, again, one hit. So this is going to be great. Ooh. Wasted it. Wasted it. Oh. Hello. Yeah. Hello again. I suppose you've already met with the tribe of this village, hmm? They seem a little distrustful of strangers, to put it lightly. They're not brutes, though, no. The sickness in the air that clouds the mind of lesser beasts. They resist it. They retain their intellect and their honor, although also, and though also their lethal traditions. I have some words of advice, my friend. If you plan to challenge the lords of this tribe, your blunted nail may prove inadequate. There is a city nearby, the old capital of Hallownest. I've heard a nailsmith resides there. Seek the old bug out and you may find progress 
that much easier. So we've got some Mantis Lords. The Lords of Mantis Village. And there is apparently a Nailsmith in Hallow Nest, which means we should come back here later. But we've got to at least give it a look, don't we? Go. My own route takes me towards that great city. If you search out the Nailsmith, it may not be long until our paths cross again. Go on. Interesting that our encounter, like our, our death after opening the floor here in this village is what brings Quirrell to this spot. It's very interesting, the um, circumstances of which certain characters will um, show up in spots. Oh, please. Just... <laughs> there are some, some of these segments that are just like... So painful, it's like I can't even jump there when it feels like I should be able to. Oh my god damn it. Alright, where's my guy at? Is he in the center? Yeah, there you are. Okay. I think this is why it's good for me to play Hollow Knight in sessions, because I start getting to a point where I just, I'm not good anymore. <laughs> I've just like exhausted my uh, my skills, and I'm I'm out. I'm no longer no longer a good enough warrior. I finally defeated enough of those to get their description. If you venture too deep into the fungal forest, these warriors will stand in your way. What is it they guard deep at the bottom of their territory? Well, that's what we're going to go and find out. Despite Quirrell's advice. Oh, bollocks. And now, Smith, eh? To upgrade my weapon? What if I just sucked instead? Ooh. <laughs> Look at this. Hang on. Let me, let me just... Can I get a peek from the bottom? No, I can't. Dude. All right. We only get a glimpse. Look at their chairs. Yo. Oh, it's a, it's optional. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. If you try and go past them to proceed, they're like, no, and shut their door. We have to challenge the lords of this place. Okay. Um, sure. I can do this. This will be easy. Oh my. Oh, the music. Oh God. Whoa. One at a time? Okay, I got this. Easy. Easy peasy. Dude, this music is incredible. What the hell? Oh! Whoa! Okay, flying disc attack! And it continues? It persists? Oh god. It persists. Oh no. Oh no. I'm terrified of you. God damn. Oh! This is absolutely amazing. That This music is, is great. Oh no, why did I jump? I wasn't supposed to jump. Damn it. <laughs> oh, see, this is why I told you. Like, I've, we've hit a limit. We've hit, we've hit a limit. We've hit a limit. I'm I'm so bad right now. It's not even funny. I've hit my capacity. Which means we have to take a break. So the Mantis Lords live at the bottom there. In their fancy little chairs. But we've been redirected. Apparently we should go to Hallow Nest. But to get to Hallow Nest, I think we have to do something else, right? Because I couldn't get through. Because Hornet went that way. I don't know. I must be missing something. So we'll figure that out next time. Looks like we're going to Hallow Nest to find a Nailsmith 
in order to strengthen our nail and take on the mantis lords and we might see quirrell again well that's some decent progress um and some embarrassing moments for you to enjoy and yell at the screen at so just don't go too hard on me i'm trying my best thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode given all of the missteps but i am enjoying it nonetheless and i will see you next time <laughs>